Welcome back to Home Lab Networks, my name is AJ and in this video today we're going to be installing Portana. Portana is just a web interface for Docker pretty much on projects. So once you yeah, I download your IO OS you're going to use, jump back to your Proxmox, make sure you upload it to your local disk, up upload the image and then we'll create the virtual machine. Create VM, name this one Portana. And this also will have um, well, this will also have Docker installed as well, so you can run Docker Docker command straight from this um, command line if you wanted to. And a lot of this will just um, be default. So we're gonna find TV. So all default, default, yeah. Um, this is a, it depends on what you're actually going to use this for, but for the for this example, I will just only give it 20 gig gigabyte of disk size. But if you're going to be actually running containers and XYZ, put the appropriate disk space you need. Cause, give it two. Memory, uh, you can, can give it four, but for my experience, two gigabyte is fine. For what I use it for, you might need more. Docker installed. It says IP address. That's the address you're going to use to SSH into the server, which we'll do right now. So I use PuTTY. You can use whatever you like, but PuTTY is just very simple and basic and does the job. So 192.168.1.124. Accept this because we trust ourselves. Too long to type out, but it makes our life a lot easier. So, so for Docker install, all the software properties for Docker. So I'll have these linked in the description. Or there, I'll have all the commands in the description below. So just copy paste from there. So that one, enter, number one. So software properties. Look, this can take some time, so just be patient. But it's all worth it in the, worth it in the end. All right, so the next command is adding the docker gp gk, which is a curl command. Okay, beautiful. Now we're going to add the app repository for Docker. Done. And then run a apt update to update repositories. Or we'll packages up to date. And then we're going to, this is the command that actually installs Docker. So once this is done, you can run Docker commands from this machine. And then we're going to run the Docker, oh sorry, we're, go we're going to run the Portana container. Don't be scared if it says una unable to find an image, that's normal. It will find it and then start pulling it and then extracting the software. Portana is on the port. Nine, nine thousand. So we're gonna put our machine's IP address into the address bar with port nine thousand, and theor theoretically it should work. So we can exit out of this for now. Go new tab. Go nine nine two point one six eight point one point one two four colon nine. Here we go, Portana up and running in your home lab. And here we go, now you've got Portana installed. So, there you go guys. Now I will have other videos on how to use this and run containers, but that's how to install Portana in your home lab guys. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys in the next home lab video.